Picture going to your favorite restaurant, a place where you go all the time, where the greeter, the servers, the manager, they all love you, love to see you coming. But one day you go in there and nobody speaks to you. The, the, the greeter is acknowledging and sitting people that have come in after you and you're thinking, what's, what's going on? How would you feel? Well, you're probably going to feel invisible, confused, angry, hurt, and a little disappointed. Well, this is exactly what it's like when a narcissist gives you the silent treatment. This is the same person, mind you, who made you believe the sun, the moon, and the stars. It, it, it revolved around you when they first met you. You could do no wrong. Now they treat you like you borrowed some money from them and you never paid it back. They got you out here doing the breath test. <sighs> Maybe I got halitosis. I, I don't know what is wrong. Okay. And here is why they do it to you as an empath. Number one, to manipulate you to get what they want. See, they know this is going to trigger your arch nemesis as an empath. You're going to feel guilt. Yes, you're going, they want you to feel guilty. You feel bad, even though you know, I, I didn't do nothing wrong. You cuss me out, right? But here you are the one feeling bad. Number two, they're putting you on punishment. That's right. They're sending a clear message to let you know, don't you ever think about crossing me. If you do, you better get the taste out your mouth. I'm going to isolate you by cutting you off from your emotional life support to teach you a lesson. Number three, they are showing you who's really in charge of this relationship. Who's the boss? Who's top dog? They tell you, listen, I run all this up and through here and you bet not forget it. And you re you're replaying everything in your mind saying, well, wait a minute, what, what did I do to cause this? And now you're going to become very compliant, overly accommodating so that you can fix a problem you didn't cause. Scripture says this, how can two walk together except they agree? So we have to address this behavior head on. You, you have to say, listen, this is no longer okay. You know, we, we, we might have to try to get some counseling. However, a narcissist, they're not going to comply. And if they do go to counseling, it's only for show or to manipulate the counselor. And then you're in there thinking, wait a minute, how did I become the problem? Why is everybody on my case? And since they truly don't want to change, let's keep this in mind. This only leaves you with one alternative. You got the bounce. You got to get out, go bye-bye, go night-night, because you know what? Your light is way too bright to be ignored. Don't you ever forget this. And if you are struggling with this and you're like, Doc, I hear what you're saying. I hear it, but I got to tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm beating myself up. I'm searching everything that I've done to see how I screwed this thing up. If this is you, listen, go to my website, ChristopherReed.org, schedule your free 30-minute consultation so I can tell you how coaching can help you once and for all to eliminate the silence in your life, okay? You don't have to go through this. And if you like the material, please do me a huge favor and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Peace.